Welcome back into turn 1 Necrons, we'll have to see if it was a mistake or not giving a turn 1 to Necrons. The Immortals run right through the river and we decided it's a mysterious pool so let's roll and it is an ice blood pool. So you get the re- it's dangerous terrain as well, which he doesn't fail, but you get to re-roll your armor saves. Well if you have ended your movement or have passed through it. And the second pool is just a normal pool, nothing of note. So the command barge with all the the royal court moves up, or not the command barge, the... It should be like a command barge. It looks like a command barge from like Star Wars, like Jabba the Hutt stuff on the, on the desert. But it is just a ghost arc. But they, all the Necron Lords shoot into my battle wagons, manage one glancing hit, and I don't make my cover save. The Immortals shoot a little bit of a f fluff there, but they, and they don't manage to kill any boys because with night fighting enabled, and with my custom force field, I am able to make a lot of cover saves. But both of the objectives that he's revealed are both grav wave generators, which will charge half the charge distance from my guys. And so that might be actually quite good because I'm planning to kill him by charging. But turn one orcs, going by nice and fast. So I like games like this. Moving forward, checking for difficult terrain, and because I passed through a couple of dangerous terrain spots, you know, you roll for each one individually, and the storm boys running right up behind, being able to easily catch up. Boys running through difficult terrain, five inches. Not a problem, but they are in range of a objective, and it is a Skyfire Nexus. And so I do have some rockets in there, and he does have that flyer. And so hopefully that'll help me take it down without having to divert too much from the the other other shootingness of my army. Now, the other objective is another grav wave generator, so there's three now. Weird boy the weird boy's not a warphead, but I rolled a two, thankfully. Strength six, AP three shots. And it always directly hits, and I take out three immortals. And I think they might have been able to get a cover save there. We didn't look um, hard enough, but now all the boys are shooting from inside, all snap fire of course, and then some rockets, the other boys decide to shoot their rockets but they fail, Ludas are shooting back, he, we're not sure if he's stealth or shrouded, but let's just see, he gets a few hits, testing, he is shrouded, so I think he gets a 3 plus save, because he moved, he's a skimmer, he gets jink all the time, and so the next squad of Ludas also shooting at a shrouded ghost arc another three plus save and he makes both from the two glancing hits i did next a couple of rockets from ins on top of the battle wagons i forgot to say in deployment that they they each have a couple of rockets on top are shooting on just shoot at the ghost arc but again don't do anything and then all the boys inside shoot and manage to kill one immortal maybe he might come back next squad of boys and they're all shooter boys shooting their shooters and their rockets managed to take out another four, yes, four immortals. And so leadership tests, the one squad is good and they make their will be back rolls and a bunch get back up. But the second immortal squad fails leadership. That's a lot of immortals dead that could have been resurrected by uh, reanimation protocols. But now they're running back out of the river. They decided it was way too normal for them. And so, quick turn one. Ghost Ark, again, still behind there, just trying to keep safe. Those Immortals, I have a feeling, are going to be very hard to kill because they have a 3 plus re rollable in that Ice Blood terrain. And just the, the Battle Wagons are still alive, still mobile, so I'm thankful for that. But we're going to go into Necron turn two, where the Doom Scythe is going to be able to come on. And my battle wagons are maybe unwisely packed together quite closely. But as you see, the boys are moving up as fast as they can. Trying to do what damage they can and hopefully we'll be able to assault next turn. Lots of reserves still to come on. We got a Monolith, Doom Scythe, lots of Daka Jets, Defcopters. Action-packed part three coming your way. <laughs> 